welcome to sales e skill programs in the first session of how aircraft flies it has been discussed on the on the uh, lift how it generates in the how aircraft flies part 2 is mainly considered on the on the aircraft controls and basic of the some of the aerodynamics and lift forces Then the, in the aircraft flight happens starting from the it's like it's from the uh, like a taxi to take off and it's cruising and again descent and again landing so this is entire aircraft cycle to do that so there are so many operations has to be done not only uh, only the lift responsible there are many other controls also responsible for example in the steady flight where exactly lift is equal to weight it can cruises with uniform velocity but in case of a climbing flight it has to aircraft has to uh, tilt towards upside whereas in case of um, uh, banking it has to turn as well as it has, it has to be uh, like a turn right side or right side or left side so this image has taken from the one of the textbook and now it will be discussed how these things will be done to do a smooth flight so as per the as per the aircraft there are three axes of movement so this is the standard aircraft configuration there are the different parts like fuselage aileron wing fin rudder elevator aileron and engines so this is longitudinal axis this is lateral axis this is vertical axis the movement of uh, about the longitudinal axis is responsible for roll the movement about like lateral axis is responsible for pitching the movement about the vertical axis is responsible for the yeah that means like uh, turning either side so how would this is done as discussed there are mainly three uh, fundamental controls nowadays all aircraft uh, controls are operated by fly by wire so that means uh, like the input will be given from the pilot and it will be directly connected to uh, to that concerned part through fly by wire technology so here if you see that there are three parts three images where the pitch is mainly done by through elevator control roll is done by aileron control a yaw is done by uh, like a rudder control these are all the primary controls there are some other controls other parts also responsible but this has been as in this session only the main controls has been discussed for the fundamental discussion if you, see the, if you see the elevator speech how this elevator is responsible pitching so the elevators uh, comes here so that means there is a in the steady flight so wherever that uh, force uh, generated by this uh, main wing and uh, la like a tail wing it is balanced these movements are balanced about cg but in case of uh, like the pitching uh, how it will operate you can see the moment the moment it is operating so it is pitching up so that means the more force is uh, generated that uh, it is it is creating a like a uh, like this kind of movement that lifts the aircraft up in case of ailerons how it will be done so it, the aileron so it is like a roll so it will be moving this side or this side depending upon the differential lift in case of a rudder how it is done by operating the rudder it will either, it, by turning the this side right side it will turn right side so this is some of the controls uh, it will be explained detail in the in the coming slides the pitch explanation how uh, like how aircraft pitching is done so the pitching main responsible is uh, like uh, through elevator so the moment uh, the pilot gives this uh, control rod in the forward direction so that means uh, the aircraft has to uh, pitch down how it is done the moment the aircraft rod pushes uh, the forward direction 
So that will create that will be activate this elevator to uh, go in the downward direction tip of the elevator so this will go down so this will form a, some kind of a extended surface so this will create up, upside because here the top side is having more curvature so that will generate a force in this direction so that will create about the cg there is this is like the anti clockwise moment so that will push a drop down but in case of aircraft lever, if you wanted to pitch up, so the same lever has to be moved back side, so that is in this direction. So that will uh, uh, move the ele elevators in the upside, so this will create a more force in this direction. So this uh, this force will be acting down on the tail, so this will have create a, a differential moment, so that will create a, like a clockwise moment, which will be aircraft pitching up. So similarly. So whichever uh, like uh, the amount amount of uh, the pitching is required that depends upon the how much you move this lever from side or back side. Similarly, how that aircraft tying is done. So aircraft tying is uh, the moving this side, maybe like a right side or left side. Suppose this is done by like a radar. Suppose aircraft is to be moved towards a, like left side, so the left pedal has to be operated by pilot the moment the left pedal is pushed so that means it is indicate that aircraft has to turn left side so to to do that so this uh, rudder uh, like uh, will move towards this uh, this side left side so that will create a force so in, in opposite direction so that will create a moment about the center of gravity so that will create a counterclockwise moment about vertical axis so that will turn the aircraft to the left but in case of uh, moving the, to the right side so right pedal has to be operated so when the moment the right pedal is operated so that deflects so this uh, aircraft uh, rudder towards the right side of, of the pilot so that will uh, induce a force uh, like uh, towards the left side so this create this into this force into this uh, like center of gravity this is like a differential force uh, because there are obviously there is a uh, like uh, the already forces existing in the lift at the wings and the tail surface but this force will create a, a moment to the right side because of this clockwise moment so like this whichever how much turn it has to be done that depends upon the how much uh, this uh, force you need to operate on the pedal so that is controlled by pilot and everything is done to like uh, like uh, uh, this mechanism so similarly the rule is done by through aileron that is by creating the differential force either in this side on this side so that will turn the aircraft uh, like uh, by rolling the movement about the uh, longitudinal axis so this is the uh, simple controls so mainly there is extensive uh, things will be done based on the by creating the high lift devices and the other other uh, uh, like the control devices so now so as the discussed uh, there is the angle of attack is there when the angle of attack is more so that means uh, between the cart line and to the angular uh, air, air incidence so it is keep increasing so that means the lift force will increase as you seen the previously as the more angle of attack there is a more lift but if there is a limit how it will be there you can be seen the from development domain video or from the university it has been taken as a courtesy uh, and it has been used here to, to explain how this is so much uh, uh, detrimental you can see the moment it is moving so that it is turning this uh, there is a trying to there is a separation coming between this uh, this up, upper surface and to this uh, streamlines so this is mainly responsible for the stall condition so once aircraft comes to the stall condition so it is detrimental there won't be any lift it will uh, it will stop and it will collapse the same image has been taken in the like uh, there is a gap here so there is no continuity so it will go into turbulent zone and that will lift, that will separate this flow and finally there won't be any lift from this side mainly the upper surface is mainly uh, responsible for more lift in case of the asymmetric uh, uh, aerofile 
so aircraft stability so so far it has been discussed the how the controls are operating and how uh, it is uh, this control the moment uh, when a control is applied so it has to be uh, come to the stability once it is released that is nothing but so the moment you, you operate the uh, control uh, so it should come to the normal position once the control is released so that is uh, unless that operation is done so it, this is done mainly this angle is uh, like a dihedral angle uh, the stability will be there generally minus 3 to 5 degrees will be uh, there in case of the aircraft so as the aircraft uh, uh, the, as the lift is uh, generated here so the moment here the air is flowing here the air is flowing here so it will create some kind of um, curvature curvature effect that is like a vertices so these are all mainly uh, it will create it will induce the drag in this uh, aircraft performance so so that is not required so to avoid that so there is a additional uh, like the mounting that's called the wing led is in, uh, in, installed to reduce the drag so these images has been taken from the wikipedia so cut see to uh, demonstrate how uh, this uh, actually vertex is uh, implied so as discussed uh, as how things work or how a cloud flies is uh, can be done using these uh, like by science application with uh, rational thought skillfully to the requirement of industries as it is known that successfully is a uh, like a concept there is a how we are developing the solutions towards the uh, like a better solution is uh, solutions by applying the rational thought skills and relevant to industries how the, this framework is uh, what to be done to achieve a right solution or maybe better solution to do this uh, session some of the references has been used uh, like you like uh, textbooks and uh, internet and uh, tips from the uh, advisors and uh, some of the uh, like uh, standard uh, youtube uh, like videos to make this uh, session more uh, meaningful and fruitful thank you to get a detailed uh, discussion on the how aircraft uh, flies uh, uh, it can be approached with uh, contact at srst.com srst.etechnology at gmail.com